with the exception of Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, I do like the Jurassic World slash Park films for their mindless action dinosaur fun. But that doesn't mean they don't contain some cringeworthy dialogue. Just a troglodyte. Or some scenes I felt just broke the fucking movie. So I just really wanted to discuss some of the real aggravating moments in this franchise. That is one big pile of shit. All right, my first annoyance, but it's not that major of a deal, comes from The Lost World Jurassic Park. I like this movie. I think a lot of people were disappointed because expectations were just too high. The original is a classic. It's not fair to expect a sequel to match it. But if you can cast aside your unrealistic expectations, you'll find a decent film with some great scenes. Ugh, but one scene in particular is just cringeworthy. Early in the film, Malcolm, Jeff Goldblum, says something to his daughter Kelly about the gymnastics team at school. Kelly gets pissed off that her dad never realized that she had already been cut from the team. Gymnastics? Out that I got cut from the team. This is one of those situations where it's like, gee, I wonder uh, if this is going to have to do with anything later. Fast forward into the movie later and Kelly uses her gymnastics routine to take out one of the raptors. The school cut you from the team? A gymnastics kick. That's, <laughs> that's what's going to do it. These things are leaping up out of the field and latching onto people's faces. Pretty sure that raptor's going to see that foot coming and uh, make a meal out of Kelly. I'm just saying. I understand why they added this, making it fun and family oriented. Fine, fine, I'll let them have it. This one's not as big of a deal as the next two. This brings me to Jurassic Park 3, and specifically, it's the ending. So after Dr. Grant speaks some raptor and gives them their eggs back, the group finds the shoreline. This is where they're greeted by a guy wearing a suit calling out to Dr. Grant with a megaphone. Seriously, what the hell is this? Then helicopters and vehicles converge on the beach. They also, oh, they found Billy too. It's like one big giant happy ending that magically comes together. It's almost so happy and perfect that I almost expected this to be a dream sequence and Dr. Grant to wake up in some carnivore's nest with its babies about to eat him. It's just so abrupt. Seriously, they couldn't think of a better ending? Did they run out of money? Were they like, oh, gee, guys, I don't know. We got to figure out a way to wrap this up real quick. What do we do? Um... All right, I got it. Beach, guy in suit, military, Billy's okay, the end. I mean, Jurassic Park 3 was no masterpiece, but this ending really hurt the film. Now, lastly, this brings me to Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, which is a complete turd. And one moment at the end really drove the final nail into the coffin for me. When they asked the little girl why she hit the button to release all the dinosaurs into the wild, her response had me rolling my eyes. They're alive. Like me. Yeah, great job, kid. Just, uh, you know, completely damning our ecosystem. Wonderful. Glad you're only thinking of yourself. It's not like these are all the friendly Disney variety of dinosaurs. They're biological killing machines. Yeah, you know what? Screw Mother Nature. Who needs a food chain and all these animals? Whatever. But, you know, everything is great because blue is free and safe. But keep in mind, Blue isn't going to be as friendly to everyone like he was with Owen. Oh no, Blue is going to kill a lot of people. While I really do enjoy the franchise as a whole, I just cannot ignore some of these horrible flaws. I also felt Fallen Kingdom was just a huge misstep and took itself way too seriously for the kind of movie that it is. I just hope the next film doesn't get even more ridiculous. I mean, what next? Are the Raptors going to start speaking English? Because if that happens, I am walking out. Well, everyone, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Always feel free to subscribe and check back soon. And if you have time, check out my website, worldwindreports.com. Thanks.